So I already did my eyebrows and um, I did my eyeshadow base. I actually did an eyebrow tutorial, so should be in the description box or whatever. Somewhere along here, maybe on the screen. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, so I know that a lot of people have been wanting me to do this look that I had posted on my Instagram. Let's see if I can find it. This one right here. So the palette that I used for that is the Be Bella Cosmetics palette. And this one is in Silent Night. It looks like this. I dropped it and I broke the palette. B Bella NG323 brush. And it's just like this really fluffy brush. And I'm going to be going in with this color right here. And I'm just going to use that as a transition shade. get pretty high up so don't be afraid I'm not being like super clean with that can you hear my stomach I'm just hungry ew why does it look like that let's blend this out now I'm gonna go in with with this color right here and I'm just gonna take my Be Bella NG333 brush and it just looks like this and I'm just gonna deepen up that crease Now using that same Be Bella brush, the second one that I used, the NG333 brush, like this one, I'm going to go in with a brown color, and I don't remember which one I used, I think I used this one. I'm going to go in with the one right above the last one that we used. I'm just going to go on the outer crease. I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair. I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. And I'm going to take... Where's my brush? Okay, so I'm just going to take that concealer and just grab just the tiniest bit on the brush. And I'm just going to tap the outside, like the, the lid. And it's going to like create like a sticky base for my next shadow. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Pro professional eyeshadow brush, this one, it's just a flat brush, and I'm going to take this color right here, this green color, it's kind of like an army green, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that color, I'm just going to pack it on. I'm just grabbing a clean little brush, this is from BH Cosmetics, it came in like a big pack. And I'm just going to blend out the corners, the outside. Okay, I'm going to grab some of that second color that we used and I'm just going to blend it in. Okay, so now for the glitter liner, I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics one. It comes in like the big like 30 um, pack of like brushes um, and I'm just using the little eyeliner brush. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's just a little eyeliner brush like any normal. And for the glitter, the glitter I'm going to be using Shopware Beauty's glitter in All I Want for Christmas. And it looks like, let me show you. I'm 
I'm gonna take some regular duo glue. I'm just gonna put it on the little like glass thing that I have on here. I just put a little bit of it on there. And I'm gonna take that eyeliner brush and I'm gonna dip it into the glue and I'm just gonna create an eyeliner. So I'm only going to go as far as that, as that right now. I'm not going to do the wing just yet. I'm only going to go up to there. I have to do it in parts because the glue starts to dry really quickly. I'm going to take some of the glitter and I'm going to slowly start to pack it. Thing, same brush, continue with the same steps. I'm just doing it half at a time. So now I'm going to apply lashes and I'm using these. These are the, um, what are these? These are the, these are the 253s um, by Ardell. Dang, your face changes so much with an eyelash, without, with, without, with, without. So now for primer, I'm going to be using the Professional by Benefit. And I'm just using like a little bottle that I have here. Great. Now I'm going to spray my face with the Mario Badescu, Badescu. Badesca, Badesca, Badescu, it's good. Up in the mirror. <laughs> and that's you. Oh. No, 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 no. Um, for my foundation, I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs uh, Remarkable Foundation, and I'm in the shade 29 Bisque Golden. And I'm just gonna dot it just because I don't need a lot. And I'm just gonna use my beauty blender to blend it out. Alright, so I'm going to go in with my concealer. I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Chantilly. And I think I'm going to mix it with the Shape Tape today.
I'm just gonna set my face with the Laura Mercy Air Mercy whatever translucent powder. I don't bake. I just kind of like set it and then I just pat it out. So I'm not gonna bake. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D's Lock It Powder Foundation and I'm in the shade Medium 53. Mega Forever Pro Bronze Fusion and it's in the shade bronzer? I don't, I don't know. But it looks like this. And I'm just going to use a Real Techniques, what is this, buffing brush. I'm gonna go in with the shade and light palette and I'm gonna go in with this top middle color right here and I'm just gonna set a little bit on it just to brighten it up just a tiny bit. Okay. Now to contour, I'm gonna use this little Sonia Kashuk angled brush and I'm gonna go in with the color, with the same shade and light palette but now with the bottom middle color. For blush, I'm gonna use Max Harmony. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna go in with the first color that we used. Now I'm gonna go in with the second color and just layer that closer to the waterline. I'm gonna go into the Be Bella Slayette Pro Palette and I'm gonna go in with this color right here, but what I'm gonna do is wet my brush before. So for highlight, I'm going to use the Sleek Makeup um, palette, Highlight Palette in Cleopatra's Kiss. And I'm going to go in first with the cream color with this Sonia Kashuk's little flat brush. I'm just going to tap. Now using a little e.l.f. brush, I'm going to go in with the color right next to it, this one right here, and I'm going to go ahead and add it on top. Now, before I do my lips, I'm going to go and set my face with the Mario Badesco, Badesco's facial spray. Thank you for watching, subscribe.